everybody welcome back and thank you for watching cutting up with bae today we're going to do a tutorial on some fried cabbage with some shrimp and some spicy sausage so we're gonna get right into it today i have my favorite cast iron and i have it nice and hot and i threw in some bacon some chopped up bacon you can use any kind of bacon you want you can use pork bacon turkey bacon um but you know me, I'm using pork bacon. It gives amazing flavor, it smells delicious. And who does not like bacon? So I'm gonna brown this bacon up, and then I'm gonna add in some more ingredients. Also, if you're gonna use some turkey or some bacon, um, bacon, Add a little butter or add some oil to it because those types of bacon, they are very, you know, low on oil. So you need that to flavor the cabbage. And make sure you use a non-stick pan. And whatever you do, do not overcook your cabbage because it will get mushy. So now that my bacon is smelling so delicious, and it's nice and brown and crispy. I'm gonna throw in some sliced up onions. And then I throw in some sliced up spicy andouille sausage. And now I'm adding some sliced up cabbage. Now I'm going to slowly mix everything in. As you can see, I'm adding a little bit more cabbage. I'm just adding as I go. And this right here is bacon grease. Bacon grease is so powerful because the flavor is just so amazing. Like bacon grease is the best thing that's like ever happened. So throw in some bacon grease the bacon grease is soaked up by the cabbage and then you have not only the spices from the andouille sausage you have some shrimp you have some onions and it makes it so flavorful um, you know my grandma she used to make cabbage before she passed away often and her cabbage was so delicious it didn't have any meat in it at all but I like taking recipes to the next level I like kicking them up a little bit so that's what I'm doing and it tastes pretty damn good so you know you don't have to add meat you don't have to add bacon you don't have to add shrimp you don't have I mean you can boil the cabbage you don't have to fry the cabbage you can use butter you don't have to use bacon grease I tell you guys every single video you do whatever you want to do this is your dish Now, because I've cooked cabbage plenty of times, I know that I needed a little bit more seasoning. So that's what you just saw me add, a little bit more seasoning. Um, generally, for this recipe, I use some salt, some pepper. I use some Slap Your Mama seasoning. I use some garlic powder. Um, I use some red pepper flakes, um, a little smoked chili. So this is gonna have a little bit of spice to it, not only because of the sausage, but because of the um, red pepper flakes, but it is so good. I'm trying to tell y'all. So now for my favorite part, add the shrimp, because if you guys don't know by now, I am addicted to shrimp. I need to go to like shrimp meetings because I'm like always buying shrimp every single day. Every time me and my husband go to the store, they know us. Um, one thing about me is I rarely cook anything that's frozen. I mean, if it's frozen in the store, then you know they froze it, but I'm not buying a whole bunch of meat or anything and just freezing it and then unfreezing it and then cooking it. No, I go to the store several times a week because I like fresh food. I've been doing it for years and you know, I don't get any complaints. I don't mind. Um, actually, I'm gonna do a couple videos of me going to some farmer markets here in Atlanta. But um, now that I got everything stirred up, um, I put a 
quote unquote lid over my cast iron, AKA a plate. And I let everything cook on low for a few minutes. And now I'm just checking the progress of everything. And everything is looking so delicious. It smells so good. And at this point, I'm just kind of stirring everything around. I don't want the cabbage or anything to cook too long on one particular side. Um, like I told you earlier, cabbage will get mushy on you. And if you're going to add shrimp, make sure you add shrimp at the end. Because shrimp is the fastest cooking thing, whether it's in this dish or any other dish. And you don't want your shrimp to get overcooked. You don't want them to get super small and tough. You don't want them to shrivel up and be nasty. So make sure you add them at the end when the dish is almost complete. So I let this cook for a few more minutes and as you can see the cabbage is nice and wilted. It's not mushy, it's not broke all the way down. You can see the sausage itself has some nice color to it. The shrimp, they're nice and done. So at this point, it's a wrap. This cabbage with shrimp and andouille sausage is so delicious, it's so fragrant and I'm sure that you and your family is going to love it. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys like this recipe. Make sure you leave me some comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and again, thank you so much for watching, and peace out until next time.